Hi guys, my name is Adriana. I am 24 years old. I am born and raised here in Austin, Texas, and this is Financial Audit. If your maturity level is not there, then what's even the point of the conversation then going forward? From the, let's just say law firm number one, because I can't say the name. Law firm number one to this law firm was like a month and a half. I had enough savings. I pulled, well, I thought I had enough savings. I pulled out my stocks and I pulled out my acorns and I paid my bills. I tried to pay my rent through oh that. Oh my gosh, this timeline, no offense. And I, don't I think know, it, I don't it's kind of iffy. We need like a back to the future no, like, we diagram. No, literally, we literally do. <laughs> because I'm like trying like, to I use need my an fingers. I MCU to... <laughs> like timeline of where everything is. I, like, it makes sense in my head because I see it. Life? Where are we? <laughs> it makes sense because I, I'm like looking at it in my head. Is Thanos but... here yet? I need him to snap half this table now. <laughs> Preferably your side. I don't get it. How many months did you not have a job? Six. So why were you not willing in the six months to f work? Because two of them, like I explained earlier, I got severance pay. Then I had the internship that I don't well, count I'm, as a well, job. I'm counting that as a job. How many months were you not getting paid? So June, July, August, September. So three. Okay. Four. Okay, why'd you not want to come in for my puppy? Because savings. That's when I was using the savings. But you said you fully drained it. What happened when you no, ended it? No, no. I'm when I'm telling. <laughs> no, listen. Don't crumble it. When I'm telling you, I used the savings. This was in this time period. This period, phase one was credit card, relying on credit card. Does that make sense? And you weren't willing to work instead of using credit cards. I was during... getting severance pay. Then oh. I did internship, and then okay, there was like a okay, hiccup whatever. where I should have. Let's look forward. Okay, anyways, yeah. Six thousand five hundred thirty seven dollars on a Costco card. You purchased a little. Nothing crazy, like thirteen no. bucks. Oh. But I wouldn't be purchasing on a card. I and that I don't even the think credit that's... limit that one hundred fifteen dollars of interest is accruing on on a monthly basis. And I don't think it was a purchase. I think it was like a subscription that I need to like remove. Well, that's a purchase, I need to cancel. And you should. It was two peacocks. Who even mm. uses that service? It's like the worst of all of them. I watched Coherence last night. You watched what? Coherence. It's a movie. Okay. <laughs> okay. Service finance company. LLC. Oh, that, this is your HVAC system. Yeah. That was also part of the thing. The AC went out. The AC went out. That was another th big thing. The AC went out. So then I had to get a loan to pay for it. Are you it. sure you want to be a land? Why aren't you living in your house? I don't like that. Ear well, okay. It's Sell like it. A I don't want to because of the passive income. Like it has passive been income, helping me. I don't me. think you've made a profit on this at all. Uh, helping you, you're ten thousand dollars in debt for this. You had to go buy the fridge. Like you're not doing this correctly. You're not setting money aside for future repairs, which would have helped offset this. And okay, no, like yeah, and I get that. But I was using the money that I was getting. That's why on the Chase, and I don't know if that's legal on the Chase business card. You were saying like personal transactions because I was using the money that I was getting from rent to like pay stuff. Minimum monthly payment is only $158. Yeah, yeah. What's the interest rate on this? I sadly don't know. I don't know that what interest. Uh, 12%. That's death. That's insanity. That's stupid. Well, I write it off, so on my taxes. Because that's like a house repair. Okay. And so is the washer and the dryer and like everything else. Even still. I mean, you could. It's still death because it's uh, on well, my Not only debt. is it debt, not only is it risk, even if you are, even if it does uh, write off from like whatever LLC or whatever you have formed under your house. Yeah. yeah, under the house, even still, 12%, like, you're probably not meeting, beating the market to that anyway. Even if it's deducting from certain things, it's, it's not helping you. RBS, what the f is RBS? And why oh, no, no, no. are we oh, that's, late? That's my utility. Um, no, I shouldn't be late. Oh, no, that, that was from the month where I was. No, listen, listen. Okay, that one, I was, I paid it. That's my utilities. That's when I had pulled my money together from Acorns and from Robinhood. Acorns. Well, yeah, because it was like pulling and like, that's like my emergency. Like, I don't even look at that. Like, I don't know how much money is in there until I'm like, oh shoot, I need some extra cash. And then I go and look in there. That's not, that's paid because I would have already been evicted if that wasn't paid. If that's my utilities that I only brought that document to show like, yeah, my rent's 1674, but that's why my- You are past due. That's an old bill. How old? What date is it? You have to. Again, I would have rather you. This was last month. This was last month. Yeah, that, and I was old, late. Ancient history. That. Oh my gosh. Okay. Dug up from the pyramids, this one. 
if I if it wasn't paid, don't say that it's not paid. If it wasn't paid, I would literally be evicted right now. Well, I don't know. It was past due as of a month ago. So yeah, you and I paid my on... rent. Yeah, they sent me that on the fourth. Literally, the three day grace period on the fourth. Cool, to but you weren't paying it. I'd... You would have had paid the money because if you I have a check, Caleb. All, but I'm glad you have a job now. Me too. If you didn't, I don't. Yes. Okay, Federal Credit Union. Oh, yeah, my bank. Oh, they must love you because you owe them. Oh, for the personal loan? $2,850. That's what this is, is the personal loan? No, it's a Visa Platinum card. Oh, yeah, that's my that was my zero balance, like, transfer. Um, So before, so when I got into the debt, I was like, I went into and I was like, hey, like, I need to learn how to, like, tackle this. And she suggested, the bank teller suggested the zero balance transfer. And oh, then sure our plan did. was... Well, yeah, it's, it's zero. I know it's zero percent until July 2025. So I know that. And so our plan was if I just put in three, pay, put in three, pay. Yeah, but where did you transfer from? Another debit card, like another credit yeah, card. Yeah, which one? Uh, I don't even remember. And you probably built that balance all the way back up. Doing minimum payments. Mm -hmm. No, that's not how that works. So remember, yes. no, 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 no. <laughs> You'll still technically make a little bit of progress with minimum monthly payments. And I'm telling you, Okay, well, if it was a Capital One card, I'm telling you, I missed the two minimum payments because it was 674 at one that's point. What you, that's what you and mean. so that's I, when I, I called. That that's what you mean. Yeah, and I called and I told them, I was like, hey, like, can you put me in a program, anything? And the only program she could put me in was, well, if you pay 674 while you're unemployed and you can't pay anything, like, that's the only program we can help you with. Like, they couldn't defer it or anything. So then now on Why my credit report, it's are. like, hey, you got two late payments. Yeah, because that makes sense. Hey, money that you owed and signed a contract for. What is this? Is your oh, rent? Oh wait, wait! I pay a hundred on this credit card every week. Every week? Every week. Look at my statement. Wait, why? But the interest rate on other ones are well, so much I'm worse. Well, because I'm trying. Well, my plan was to tackle it and then transfer more, and tackle uh, that. That's and weird, then... man. Is that a bad plan? Well, especially since you're just building the balances back up on the other cards, it's counterproductive. You're, this isn't this isn't making sense. I'd rather you just pay off those other debts, chop up every credit card, burn every account you've ever <laughs> known because you're not a credit card person. Okay. Balance transferring, paying that off as quick as you can while you build well, up that, the balance again. Well, no, and not even that, but if this is paid off, okay, let's just say that I have an emergency. Like right now standing, I don't have a savings, like emergency I savings. Know. So as you're going to hate this, but like this would be my lifeline if I had like a tire expense or like something went out in my car. Like there's only no. Well, it's no, there's like you can borrow like seven hundred dollars on here. That's not going to give still, you a big. I mean, no, but like as I'm paying it off, like this will like be my lifeline yeah, until like, I build up a savings. But I get it. But the thing is, technically, the other card could be as well. Now, I know they have higher interest rates, but with the way you're doing this. Is you're transferring it from a 30% card, but then whatever you transferred from the 30% card, you're putting right back on the 30% card anyway. 